Hi everyone, welcome to part two. Okay, Fisher has just played b4 and um, Petrosian answered with c takes b4, which Fisher criticizes with the words wide open because it opens a route to the black king and pointed out that safer was f6, where best play goes b5. If instead b takes c5, queen takes c5, f takes c4, knight takes c5, and black has powerful use of the e5 square, which blocks the action of this bishop at g2. So this is no good. So better is b5. And and uh, knight a5, knight b3, knight takes b3, c takes b3, king b8, and a4 with an equal position. Now, but Petrosian played c takes b4 anyway, and Fisher answered with knight c4 and gave it a question mark in his analysis pointing out that it allows black time to consolidate. Better here, he said, was f takes e5, which gives white an advantage in in all continuations. For example, if b takes a3, knight c4, knight c4, rook f8, if instead b5 and queen g4 check is good for white. So rook f8 and now rook takes a3 with a big edge and good attacking chances for white down the a and b files. So knight c4 anyway from Fisher. Now came f6 which was unexpected uh, from Petrosian and Fisher answered with f takes c5 and f takes c5. Now came a takes b4 and knight c7, which is preparing a queenside blockade here on b5. Um, the b pawn is hanging, but it's not going anywhere as it's and because it's attacked twice and undefended, there's no need to capture it right away. If indeed black wants to capture it at all, given the open lines it creates to its king. Um, so now came knight a5 and knight b5 from Petrosian setting up that blockade and preparing a later knight c3 which would be a good outpost square for the knight and Fisher commented here that he already knew he'd been outplayed in the position um, presumably because Petrosian hadn't accepted this uh, bait of the pawn on b4 and Petrosian commented himself after the game that he didn't even consider it. It would be against his style of play, generally speaking. So now came knight takes c6, b takes c6, and rook f2. Again not taking on b4. And now the pawn can be regained by force anyway. Um, yeah, g6 is what Petrosian played, he didn't take on b4. If queen takes b4, then queen g4 check, forking the pawn at g7, so uh, rook d7, but now rook f7, rook hd8, queen takes g7, wins back to pawn. So g6 is what Petrosian played. And now came h4 and king b7. Fisher writes, ordinarily one would expect Petrosian to simplify and simplify in order to reach a winning ending and points out that rook hf8 was a strong alternative to this passive king move. So king b7, and now h5, just pursuing initiative on the king's side, which is a risky business, because it's opening lines to his king. And um, both players seem to be in a risky mood, because Petrosian now accepted that pawn on b4, which Fisher says surprised him because it was uncharacteristic of Petrosian to allow so much counterplay. He'd expected rook hf8 and also pointed out that if g takes h5 he was planning queen takes h5 and after a probable rook hf8, rook f5 and said that white is slightly better here and Fritz agrees. So queen takes b4. Now rook f7 check penetrating to the 7th rank with tempo and king b6 is how Petrosian responded. If instead king b8, now comes queen f2, rook hf8, 
and c4 a strong move for white and knight c7 is the best response capturing en passant is bad because it opens up this line to a7 for the queen and white would have rook a takes a7 where there is of course no knight takes a7 or queen takes a7 is mate and white would have a decent advantage here despite being down upon the e valors at plus 0 0.75 so white would be clearly better um, so after knight c7 queen f6 would be the right move for white and there's a good play with this dangerous heavy piece penetration into the black position so king b6 is a better defense now came queen f2 so taking further control of the f file and a5 immediately advancing this newly created passed pawn and it's important to note that challenging white on the f file now fails thanks to Patricia or sorry Fisher's move uh, queen f2 if rook hf8 then c4 and white is better if knight c3 then rook a takes a7 with a good advantage to white so a5 and advancing this pawn is obviously Petrosian's plan for the middle game and Fisher answered with c4 and knight c3 is you know the move that Petrosian played and the move that it would have been hard not to play as this is a good outpost square for the knight and it's controlling the open b file and uh, can only be reasonably removed if white is willing to give up the exchange to get rid of it but Fisher writes that this move showed Petrosian was continuing to underestimate the danger of his king's position and gives the safer move knight d6 as better and Fritz agrees in this position white has little compensation for the sacrifice pawn but in the game continuation after knight c3 white's better objectively speaking and rook f1 is how Fisher answered now with total control of the f file but he later regretted this move in his analysis and pointed out that the immediate queen f6 was what he should have played and it's a stronger move and here white keeps an advantage in every continuation and the queen and rook penetration is very dangerous a sample continuation from here goes uh, rook d f8 and now queen takes e5 is playable thanks to the pressure on the rook here at h8 best play goes rook takes f7 queen takes h8 queen c5 and e5 and it's going to be difficult for black in view of his exposed king and white's past e pawn as well as his bishop now having considerably greater scope after this pawn has moved from e4 another possibility for black after queen f6 is uh, queen c5 oops hold on now yeah after queen f6 is to play queen c5 but now comes the powerful move queen g7 and king a6 is the best move to avoid this lethal check at b7 if instead rook a8 now comes the rook b7 check king a6 queen c7 and the black king is in serious danger even after rook h c8 to try and evict the queen because now comes the shocker move rook b5 threatening rook a takes a5 mate and black is forced to give up his queen in this position with a queen takes b5 and after c takes b5 check it's going to be all over this black position is completely collapsing and he's down in material and uh, c takes b5 loses immediately to rook takes a5 and it's mate um, so after queen g7 it would have to be king a6 but now would come rook a7 check forcing queen takes a7 and now rook a takes a5 check again forcing king takes a5 and now queen takes a7 check of course and then king b4 queen b6 check king a3 queen takes c6 and white has a good edge about uh, plus 1.3 
on the e-file so it's a yeah, good advantage he's a pawn up and queen against two rooks it's going to be sharp but uh, overall it favors white and his bishop also reroutes and become strong um, okay so the game continuation anyway it wasn't queen f6 but rook f1 okay that's the end of part two